Hello everyone, Felipe here with Prepped and Polished. Um, happy that you guys are joining me here today. Today we're going to be talking about some tips and strategies for the math no calculator section of the SAT. So this is a very short section of the total SAT test. Uh, you only have 25 minutes to do 20 questions, so time is of the essence. Uh, therefore, it's really important that we set hard deadlines. What I mean by that is because you have about 75 seconds per question and you're working on the first 10, first 8 questions and you're really not getting them in 75 seconds, then it's really important for you to move on to the next question instead of spending another 3 minutes on that question because then you're just losing points that you could have uh, accumulated on the other questions that you could have moved on to. So having set our hard deadline of 75 seconds per question, the next thing that we're going to want to focus on is how can we maximize our input in this section. So because this section is organized in a way that the questions progress linearly in terms of their difficulty, the first 10 questions that are multiple choice are going to be your easy to medium level questions. And then once you hit the grid in questions, the difficulty resets once again, and it progresses from easy to hard once again. So maximizing our input in the first 10 questions of the multiple choice and two to three questions in the grid in is going to be the best thing that we can do in this section. How that relates to the hard deadlines, if we're exceeding the 75 second mark in these section, in these questions, I'm sorry, it's best that we move on to the next one because these are the ones that we're going to want to maximize. So the next big tip in this section has to do with the content in this section. It is a very algebra heavy section. What that means is that you're going to be wanting to do a lot of simplification before you do any complex arithmetic. So resorting to things like substitution, elimination, knowing how to add, subtract, multiply, divide, and combine expressions is going to be very important. Before you do any of that, you're going to have to know your formulas, specifically your slope-intercept form of lines, which is an Algebra 1 top concept, and your vertex form of parabolas, which is an Algebra 2 concept. So I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. Again, set hard deadlines, maximize your input, and know your algebra. Those are the three biggies in the Math No Calculator section. If you like our content, please subscribe to the page, and we look forward to seeing you again next time.